Welcome on board Transport for Wales. I will be travelling to... Runcorn. Why is that? Well, funny you should ask that. That is because the stations Runcorn, Runcorn East, Frodham and Helsby, Runcorn East in particular is one station away from Warrington, and I've still never been to any of them before. So I woke up on this morning and decided on a whim I was going to grab my camera, head out, and film myself visiting those stations. Cause why not? Please make sure you have all your luggage and belongings with you. Alright, your wish is my command. Sure, I will grab my belongings and get out at Runcorn. Did this station have a glow up recently because it looks very new and stuff? <laughs> Now, if I were to wait here for the next train that would get me down to, um, like, Frodham, Helsby, that sort of line, I'd be having to wait here for an hour, which is far too long to spend in Runcorn. So I'm going to go and catch a bus just now. So if I want to get to Runcorn East Station from here without having to wait ages for a train, I need to get any bus from here that goes to Murdershaw, which I think, which concerns me, is the 79C or 82A. So, the first one of those to show up, I will hop on. Uh, just single to merge shop, please. Thank you. Great. Cool, thanks. I feel like I've been up to a lot more bus travel than I normally do lately. Something's changing within me, I swear. But hopefully, this bus should take us to not far outside of Runcorn East Station. Buses though are slightly horrid to film on in the fact that they've all got like hardly any suspension so they're all bumpy and they make my camera go all wobbly and stuff when I'm trying to film. <laughs> oh, nothing a bit of Adobe Premiere stabiliser can't fix. Hey, I'm the only one on the bus now, everyone's cleared off because, well, we were one stop from this, which is the last stop. Let's get off. Thank you very much. You too, thanks. Anyway, nice, Murdshaw Centre. So, Runcorn East is about a 10 minute walk from here. This is nice. Little pretty woodland area. Trying to follow the route that Google Maps has given me to get to Runcorn East is being very annoying because there's like lots of little wines and bends and lots of forks in the road, or I guess forks in the path, because they have their paths, not roads. But yeah, <laughs> keep getting slipped up by them and taking the wrong way. I'll get there eventually. Oh yeah, look at that, speak of the devil. I was meant to go that way down some like back street, but no, I ended up turning that way and... Oh, for God's sake. Aha! Bingo! There it is. Now I am going to continue walking past the station and keep walking down the road just for a little bit because Runcorn East was opened in 1983 as a kind of replacement of Norton Station which was situated here on the appropriately named Norton Station Road which closed in 1952. Right, well there we are, Runcorn East. So. We've got about 15 minutes till our train that will take us to Frodham. So we'll just uh, bimble about until that arrives. Also, until quite recently, I think this station used to have the old Arriva Trains Wales signage, but it looks like recently it got redone and upgraded. But it, that was the case until about a year ago-ish, I think. <laughs> And I will be travelling to Frodham. The North Wales line is always quite busy. And so is this train. Thank God I'm only going to one stop. And just like that, Frodham's coming up. Great. So Frodham Station has got two trains an hour between itself and Chester. Although it's not a regular service, it's every 15, 45, 15, 45, 15, 45. So uh, yeah, I've got the 45 minute wait here. So 
We'll just kill some time. Cheshire's best kept station. Every station is Cheshire's best kept station. Frodgham has now also, funnily enough, had the unfortunate honour of being my 666th visited station in the country. So, uh, you're welcome, Frodgham. <laughs> Right, I thought I could come up this road to cut through, but uh, turns out it's actually a dead end. I misread the map. I'll have to find another route. All right, this road should be fine. I, uh, I, th I think this one isn't a dead end and we can actually get through. Oh, I'm an idiot. I took a huge detour and I could have literally just come up that path, which leads directly out onto the station car park. <laughs> oh well. Oops. Look at this bridge, it's got a great view. You can see the uh, station behind me there and the uh, cutting that comes before the station. Nice, good. Good trip up here. Also behind me right there, you can actually see Helsby Hill. And speaking of Helsby Hill, let's get back to the platform and wait for our train to take us to Hellsby. My god, the Chester trains versus the Hlendidno trains are so much more empty. Like, there's only about three other people in this carriage. <laughs> I mean, I know the route's a lot shorter, but it's, 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 it's night and day difference. And I've said it once and I'll say it again, it is quite funny that transport for Wales have a journey that doesn't go into Wales, the Liverpool to Chester route. <laughs> it's brilliant, it's brilliant, I love it. Love all quirks. Rudini Nauran Asai at Helsby. Let's get out. And finally, Hellsby, here we are. Also, the station does have semaphore signals. I have to always point that one out. So these two platforms behind me are the most commonly used ones, you know, used on the, for the North Wales coastline or the, you know, Liverpool to Chester or Manchester to Landon, no Hollyhead, those sorts of services. But there is also platforms three and four, which see much less of a service. So behind me here are the lesser used platforms three and four, which are used for the twice a day Ellesmere port services. Although currently due to the ongoing action short of a strike and the fact that these services are usually the first to get canned when there are staff shortages, it runs about once a week at best. But quite notably near Hellsby is Hellsby Hill. Do you fancy going on a little bit of an adventure? Right, well I was going to go up this road, but uh, Bin Lorry seems to have other plans. Oh well, I'll just walk up here anyway if I have to wait, I have to wait. So be it. Right, thankfully they turned down a different road that was down there. So, onwards and upwards. Alright, this here does say road closed, but hopefully it's only for cars and not pedestrians. Let's find out. <laughs> I uh, might not have needed to go down there in the first place because I was going the wrong way. Whoops. So let's climb up Hellsby Hill. Right, there's two paths here I've got to choose from. I think, if memory serves me right, it's this one. I, th I mean, we'll get there anyway, but <laughs> just the, uh, the quickest one. Yes. This is right. Great. I pretty much knew straight away that if I ever did a video in which a part of it involved me visiting Hellsby Station, I would also have to come up Hellsby Hill. Because it's, it's just brilliant. I, I came up here um, quite a few times in uh, years gone. But uh, yeah, so... May as well do it again. Nice views to showcase on the channel. Aha! Shortcut. 
<sighs> this uh, continuous uphillness is definitely taking a slight toll on me. <laughs> I'm so out of shape. Oh yeah, there we are. Look at that. That's amazing. Right, the final bit here. And we should now be at the summit of the Hellsby Hill. This is why I visit stations. Because otherwise, I would probably never really come to places like this. But, you know, coming to Helsby Station has allowed me to be right next to this hill where I can come out here and just see this amazing view that I otherwise probably wouldn't have done had I not really visited stations before. So you can see the A55 down there, which eventually becomes the North Wales Expressway. You've got half of Fiddler's Ferry, because half of it got demolished a few months ago. Uh, you can see Liverpool over there. You can see things like the Anglican Cathedral, Radio City Tower, if you look closely. Uh, the Stanlow Oil Refinery as well. And, well, you know, the entire just village of Helsby right beneath you. Fun fact as well, I did actually engrave my name here in the rocks about 10 years ago or something. Um, I've been looking for about 15, 20 minutes to try and find it, but I don't think I can. It's gone by now. I think it's probably just been worn down by now because I've not replenished it in about seven years. So it's probably just worn away now at this point. You can actually see on Google Street View though, if you go to like, you can, you can see a, a um, rock that will say like Nick B on it. But yeah, the summit of Hellsby Hill. What a place to end the video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, a like, comment and subscribe would be greatly appreciated. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. And of course, a massive shout out to all my patrons and channel members who are listed on screen now. And a warm welcome to my new standard premium member, Niels. Thank you all for supporting the channel.